Recognized as all defense first team 2018. Of course, he's had a couple stops since then. Rockets forward Robert Covington joining the jump. Always so good to have you back. Thanks for hopping on with us. Man, thank you for having me. Thank you for having me. You did something huge, huge. On Thursday, you announced a seven figure donation to your alma mater, Tennessee State University, brand new men's and women's basketball practice facility. Uh, what inspired you to make such a significant donation? Because, um, you know, when I was here, I seen how much uh, stuff that other facilities had and, you know, the things that, you know, they had access to. So, you know, for me, for me, you know, just being able to give back and, you know, be able to do my part, like it's, it's, it's time. And, you know, like I said, I'm here, you know, in this city, you know, a lot. I see these kids. I see what they you know, have access to because, like I said, I've had the same access to those same things. And, you know, for me to, you know, do this uh, for my, my alma mater is it's a big thing because, like I said, it's, it's many that have done stuff before me. And, you know, now it's my time to, you know, give back and, you know, help them, you know, elevate themselves because, like you said, this this whole movement, you know, with HBCUs and, and having that, like, why can't we have the same access to the same facilities and everything that, you know, these other universities have, and they have, they have the sponsors and everyone donate to them. So, you know, for us, you know, I feel like my program, you know, where I grew up in as a man, as a player, mm -hmm. and what helped molded me, like they deserve to have that. Absolutely. I mean, it's just all kinds of opportunities you are handing down to the generations coming behind you. It is so impressive. And you are, you mentioned HBCUs. You're one of only two players in the league right now to have attended an HBCU. What does that mean to you? And what do you want to see change in the future in terms of that? Uh, for, you know, more kids to, you know, experience that, um, you know, going to HBCU was the best college experience I could ever imagine. And, wow. you know, everyone always says that, uh, like, if you would have went anywhere else, like, would you have been able to do something? No, I wouldn't have went nowhere else. Like, <laughs> I, had the, I had the opportunity to transfer, but I didn't. I, I loved everything about where I was at. So I had already established myself in this program. You know, the OVC, and I had and I had already put my imprint on everything. So why not finish what I started? And that's what I was always big on. So for me, you know, to be here in this moment, like you said, it's it's life changing. You know, because it's going to impact generations to come. So you know, for me to be able in this position, you know, it's not only will I have access to it as well, but you know, I can, we can help these kids get knowledge from a lot of different people. I mean, you know, we can actually use this as an attraction point, you know, for kids and, you know, for some pe from players. Like, people don't realize that Nashville is actually a really great city. And and it's it's very uplifting. So there's so much that has changed over the past 10 years since I've been here. Absolutely. And, look, we are seeing more and more prospects say they're considering outside the box thinking it's not just the major sort of big profile programs and I think you and some of the other people who are putting the spotlight on HBCUs are definitely giving them an alternative path that can be so rewarding. In fact, it's so rewarding. You ended up in the NBA, so you've done just fine.